Alright, what's going on guys? Luke here with my first PvP build for the Fire Song patch. I'm on my Magic Cat Dragonite with a simple 1 VX build backed by with Red Fatality, the sustain set. Gives almost 400 Magic Cat stamina region. Definitely needed on a Magic Cat Dragonite, otherwise, you will have some sustain issues. Front bar Way of Fire deals a good amount of damage. There's a small cooldown and constantly procs, and there's a 100% proc chance. Really strong proc set here. A Smithic Marcoon, pretty basic. One trade A monster set instead of Bloodspawn Zan. The single target pressure with this monster set is insane. It ticks around 1.5 to 2k per second, and it also applies the burning status effect. No tanky set this time. Don't really need it to be honest on a DK. We are more than tanky enough. And we have a good amount of selfie with Vigor and Calculating Blood. So don't worry. But if you feel too squishy, you can swap out Wedge Vitality for Rally Cry, for example. And go with two Prismatic Region Glyphs on the jewelry. But I prefer this setup more. I'm on three heavy pieces, by the way. With three light armor pieces and one medium armor piece. Five impen. Two sturdy. Full prismatic glyphs like always on the jewelry. For some magicka, stamina and HP. Jewelry full infused weapon damage. Don't need the prismatic region glyph here. With red fatality. Front bar an inferno stuff in sharpened with the flame damage glyph. For more damage I recommend to go with uh, two maces for extra penetration. I prefer the Infernal stuff more. If I'm line on side, I can just fully charge heavy attack and regain Magicka back. Back bar sword and board, powered sturdy with the escape's poisons. Front bar engulfing flames, a powerful dot, and empowers our flame damage abilities by a maximum of 6%. Venomous claw, the stamina morph, deals slightly more single target damage. Morton whip as spammable. Shattering Rocks as CC and for extra healing. Flames of Oblivion, really powerful, deeds even more damage in total than Mountain Whip. Leap as Ultimate, backed by Pearl's Armor for Minor Major Breach. Race Against Time as Snare Removable, Vigor as Selfie and for Minor Resolve, 3k Armor, Hardened Armor or Resistance Buff, Calculating Blood as Burst Heal and Defensive Ultimate, Spare Wall. As you might notice, I don't have access to Major Brutality, the Weapon Power buff, that's why I use the Weapon Power Potions. Don't really need twice the potions, with Red Vitality, more than enough sustain. Ray Stunmer, probably not the best choice, but helps with the extra magic and stamina. Alternative go with Breton or High Elf. Monus the Atonarch for Magicka region, Clark with Citus Filius buff food. 37 points in Magicka and 27 in health. Potions, like I said, the normal weapon power potions. Alternative, if you are under pressure, you can also go with the Tracer potions. CPs, Exploiter, Mastered Arms, Ironclad and do a 3 buff. Did some tests and Deadly Aim seems to be weaker than Exploiter, especially with Molten Whip. We can set the enemy off balance after it gets stunned by Shattering Rocks, for example. So another 10% extra damage with Exploiter. Red CPs, Sustain by Suffering, Slippery, Celerity and Pain's Refuge. Combination is pretty simple on the DK. Pre-buff yourself with Flames of Oblivion. You can do it three times in a row to proc Seething Fury Stacks. For more weapon spell damage and the Empowered Whip. Then Race Against Time. Apply Purse Armor. Engulfing Flames. Venomous Claw, Stun, Leap, and Whip. That's it with the video. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the gameplay footage. Don't forget to sub my channel. I would really appreciate it, guys. I see you hopefully in the next one. Peace. Trying to fight the demons in my mind
I'll prove it with every battle if I'm right. Yes, my aim was off the target, out of sight. Would I be better if I left it all behind? 